Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to tell you guys why you have low fuel pressure and what are the symptoms you should look out for. So the fuel system consists of many components such as the fuel injector, the fuel filter, the fuel tank, the fuel pump, fuel pressure regulator, and so on. If you have low fuel pressure, that's going to cause all sorts of problems. For example, you're going to have rough idle, you're going to have an engine misfire, you're going to have hard start, you're going to have no start, you're going to have lean condition, you're going to notice hesitation while accelerating, you're going to notice the check engine light turning on, and you're going to notice you're going to get all sorts of fault codes as well. So the most common problem of low fuel pressure is going to be the fuel pump. So basically the fuel pump is going to be the main component that's going to deliver fuel to your uh, engine. If there is something wrong with that fuel pump, for example, let's just say this electric motor over here is starting to wear out and it's becoming weak, it cannot deliver adequate pressure to the fuel rail. If you don't have an electric motor problem, maybe you have a strainer problem. Maybe the strainer is extremely clogged. Usually strainer becomes clogged when the fuel tank is full of sediments and the breezes and a lot of things that should not be in there. That will definitely cause the uh, so not the fill filter, but the strainer here to become clogged. If you don't have a strainer problem, maybe you have a circuit issue. Maybe you're getting some sort of circuit codes. And when that happens, maybe there's not enough power going to the uh, fuel pump motor. That would definitely cause the fuel pump motor to spin slower and therefore, again, causing low fuel pressure. The next common problem is going to be a fill filter that have never been replaced or have not been replaced for, let's just say, for 100,000 miles. If you, ha if you have not replaced that fuel filter for a very long time, definitely that's going to cause low fuel pressure due to clogs. If you're trying to change that fuel filter, and let's just say you have no external fuel filter, you can't find it in the engine bay, you can't find it underneath the uh, vehicle's body or on the chassis, most likely that fuel filter is going to be inside the uh, fuel tank, and most likely it does not need to be serviced. Of course, manufacturer always claim it does not need to be serviced, but guess what? It is still a fuel filter and it's prone to clogs just like everything else. The next common problem is going to be either a faulty fuel pressure regulator or a faulty fuel rail pressure uh, sensor. Uh, if either of these two components are faulty, again, that's going to cause low fuel pressure. Usually the fuel pressure regulator or the fuel rail pressure sensor is mounted directly on the fuel rail. The next common problem is going to be you're going to have a clog somewhere in the uh, fuel line. Nowadays, this is not really a major problem for most modern vehicles, but you have an older vehicle, the uh, fuel line on the inside can actually rust and that will cause a restriction, again, causing low fuel pressure. The reason why it's not a problem for most modern vehicles is because nowadays, most fuel lines nowadays are made of nylon. The next common problem is going to be you got a leak somewhere in your uh, fuel system. If you got a leak somewhere in your fuel system, you, you need to check it out as soon as possible because that can actually cause a fire. So the most common spot that the uh, fuel system can leak at is going to be somewhere in the connection. For example, let's just say you had some engine work done and you had to use a quick disconnect to uh, remove the uh, fuel line. And let's just say you put it back together and let's just say that little clip right there broke and and it was put it back together right, of course, that's going to cause a major leak in that area. I hope you found that video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.